We don't want one of those coming because this guy explained the dark matter. Listen carefully. Please explain dark matter like I'm a moron. <laughs> In brackets, I am. It's really easy to explain, actually. Uh, dark matter, uh, when we look out into the universe, we see lots of things. For example, the speed that galaxies rotate or the way that galaxies interact together, or actually the oldest light in the universe called the cosmic microwave background and patterns in it, which are suggestive of there being some kind of particle. So that's like this stuff, like electrons and things. But some kind of particle that's quite heavy and does not interact with light. So, so that's why it's called dark matter. You can't see it because it doesn't interact with photons, but it dominates the universe five times as much of it as there is of this stuff out of which everything we can see is made. So that's what dark matter, the best theory for it, we see it by its gravitational interaction. However, it's not shown, it's not proven that's the case because we haven't detected the particle. And there are experiments everywhere, in uh, underground lamps and so on, and at Large Hadron Collider at CERN, where we're looking for these things, but we haven't seen them. And so that leaves open the possibility that there's something else going on that we don't understand.